In the last session, we looked at the concept of mediators or mediator, that is your intervening variable, one that intervenes in the relationship between X and Y, one that helps you explain how X is influencing Y. Now there could be another variable, moderating variable, that is the fourth type of variable that we are going to discuss. We have already discussed IV. We have already discussed TV, we have already discussed the mediators and now we are going to discuss the moderator. What is a moderator? A moderator is one that strengthens, it may weaken or it may altogether change the relationship. What relationship is it strengthening? What relationship is it weakening or dampening or what relationship is it changing? The relationship between X and Y. The relationship between IV and DV. So X and Y. X is your variable. Let's say this is your IV. This is your DV. Now this relationship here may be strengthened. It may be weakened or it may be altogether changed by a third variable that is your moderator. For example, let's say I've got a variable stress that influences organizational performance. Now we normally say that if there is stress, there is lower organizational performance. However, this negative relationship, the strength of this negative relationship may be weakened if you've got better leadership that is, let's say servant leadership within the organization. So servant leadership will moderate the relationship between stress and organizational performance such that higher servant leadership will weaken the impact of stress on organizational performance. So what happens is servant leadership will weaken this relationship here. The strength of the negative relationship will be weakened. Another example. Let's say I've got corporate social responsibility within the organization. So if an organization has corporate social responsibility initiatives, this will help you improve organizational performance. However, this positive relationship will further gain strength, will be further strengthened if we've got good leadership within the organization. Let's say we've got servant leadership, one that is focused on relationship building, ethics, wisdom, development, growth and other characteristics. Let me give you a more simple example. Let's say in OB literature we mentioned that job dissatisfaction will lead to turnover. So if you are not satisfied with your job, that is you are dissatisfied with your job, it will automatically lead to turnover, that is you will leave your organization. But is that the case in organizations these days? No, this is not the case. Why is this not the case? What is changing this particular relationship? This particular relationship is changed because there are no market opportunities or the lack of market opportunities. There could be other moderators as well. Let's say the dependents that one has. You have to take care of your family. You can't just leave the job because you are dissatisfied. So a moderator here is, let's say, it's dampening, it strengthens or it altogether changes the relationship. Another example, another simple example, let's say a teacher, a good teacher is teaching. Now if there is teacher quality, obviously it should result in student learning. But the teacher quality is not resulting in student learning. Why? Because there is lack of facilities within the organization or within the university. So this lack of facility is moderating this relationship here. Now look at an important point here. Look at this arrow. 
Look at this arrow or these arrows. Look at this arrow. All the arrows that we have drawn, we are pointing to the relationship between this and this. Whereas in mediator, it was let's say X influences Y and Y influences Z. And so look at this. Yeah, this was your mediator where the variable that is X was pointing towards the mediator and then the arrow from the mediator was pointing towards the dependent variable. Whereas in the moderator, the relationship was being moderated and the arrow was pointing towards the relationship that is being moderated. So this is the difference between mediator and moderator. A mediator will help you explain the mechanism of impact, how IV influences the DV. Whereas moderator, it actually gives you an idea what strengthens, weakens or changes an existing relationship between two variables. Now the moderator may fall in between X and Y that is X is your independent and Y is your mediator. But here in this relationship, X is your independent whereas Y is your dependent because this is being influenced. Now in this relationship, Y is your independent whereas Z is your dependent. Why? Because Y is influencing Z. Whereas in this whole relationship, this is your IV, this is your DV and this is your mediating variable. So this is how you can differentiate between a mediator, a moderator, an independent variable and a dependent variable. In the coming sessions, we are going to talk about, let's say, how a variable can be mediator or moderator, how to search for mediators and moderators. So all this will be discussed in coming lectures. Thank you very much.